before I make a video of uh, transporting the machines. So we did that job recently at the seal thing and uh, we got the 120 long reach here and we got a 9 ton dumper and uh, we got that narrow uh, private driveway which is quite long and uh, the main road out is sing single, well it's not single traffic but um, the road is really narrow so we have to block the traffic and we're allowed to do that for legally 20 minutes to load. So I'm waiting for the lorry driver to call me, uh, he's not far away so when he do that I take the dumper up to the top by the gate and I run back and get the digger and uh, we go from there. So we have to block the traffic for loading time which has to be under 20 minutes. Should be alright but I thought I'd just show you a video about that, how we're transporting and doing this. It's a bit of pressure always but there you go, it's gonna get done. Alright, I had a phone call, it's not far away. I start the digger up and leave it running so it warms up. The damper is a different story. It's got a bit of um, electric issue. Sometimes it does start, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's a sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna got another key. Just like that. Let's do this. gonna take the machines away and the lorry is coming so try to make it quick as possible right. so I leave that here for a minute running and I bring the digger up and the lorry should be here well, in any minute leave it running. Why do you have to leave it running? <laughs> to warm up so when it's coming yeah. look at this look at the pollution the smoke coming out you turn it off yes sir Even when you try to be kind, you still got some clever heads. Look at the pollution coming out of it. At least that'd be nice. Sometimes it's hard to be nice, but I guess it's part of our job, is it? Ah.
we just have to wait. Oh, that's my be the lorry. Hi, we're gonna load the machines here, so the lorry has to park here. So, um, yeah, I don't know uh, if you just pull over. It won't take. It won't take long. Or if you just reverse up and uh, there's another way around down there. Hey, um, we're gonna load the machine right here, so the lorry gonna stop here for at least 10 minutes or 15. Okay, well I need to get past it. All right, if you if you squeeze in there, or there is a there is a little junction there. If you turn in there um, and let the lorry pass, then you can reverse back up and go. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. I don't know who is that one. to go get my van. Go quick. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking stress, isn't it?
You have to shut the door further up. Yeah, yeah, leave that. I'll find the lobby by a bit further up. I'm going to go round to the left. Do you want me to follow you? You don't have to, I'll just find somewhere to park up. And, uh, I'll put the chains on and I'll see you back at the yard. All right, you happy? No. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. Sorry about that. We've been dredging a kennel. Oh, wow. There's an old house down there and there's a little kennel the thing moat. around it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. The moat, yeah. And we dredged that. We did that um, last week. Presumably you couldn't get the lorry down there to get No, no, unfortunately not. 
So that's a tricky one and a quick one, but yeah. we try to do it quick as possible. And you need to do it about five o'clock in the morning before the traffic. Well, so. it's tr uh, trouble. is try to avoid it. It's not that easy. You're not allowed to move a big machine in the dark. Five o'clock. It's light now. That's just before the rush hour starts. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nine o'clock after rush hour, is it? And so many people. Everybody's gone here. So many people don't know we're allowed to block the traffic for 20 minutes. Thanks. So that was it.